What's up everybody, it is Jay here, and today I want to talk about if Rocky Horror is transphobic or not. So today is Sunday, and I went to Rocky Horror on Friday. I went to go see it in the Borgosh Energy Theatre. And now, I had seen Rocky Horror before, um, not live. I had that I went to see it live on Friday with my girlfriend and with my parents. And I had seen the movie, I think, twice before that. And I had seen the broadcasted version that was sent to cinemas for its anniversary last year yeah so i've seen it a few times before but i haven't seen it live before and um that brought it back into my mind to think about uh is rocky horror transphobic because i feel like this is a really hashtag controversial discussion that a lot of people have weighed in on that a lot of people have talked about but that there's no real answer and i want to kind of explain why i think that so i guess this case for rocky horror being transphobic mainly focuses around the fact that the main character uh, dr frankenfurter is a self-proclaimed transvestite a uh, crossdresser and spoilers obviously um within the movie if you haven't already seen it um he murders at least one person and I mean, engages in consensually dubious sexual acts with at least two characters. So, you do have a bit of a situation where the main character is a transvestite and is very morally dubious as a person. So, if you were, let's say, quite uneducated about trans things and you personally equated being a transvestite to being transgender then you could see how somebody could get the opinion that this movie is about a trans woman who goes around murdering and raping people which isn't really what it's about but that's basically how the argument goes and then obviously the use of the words transvestite and transsexual are obvious reasons both of those words are considered to be quite you know outdated and that makes sense the movie was made in the 70s it's not like it's new so for now those words are considered quite outdated but at the time i say they were pretty normal on the other hand the case against being rocky horror is that first of all it's a product of its time it was written in the 70s we are talking about something that you have to look at in the context of when it was made obviously it hasn't been updated it hasn't been remade it's not it's not fresh you know it's not new obviously if something using the same language as rocky horror was made now i would find that quite sketchy and i would definitely avoid it but it's using the language that was available at the time effectively so i don't think that th like the no side of the story would say that that's not a reason to fault it um it was also written by a non-binary person richard o'brien who's r wrote wrote it written it and directed it and all that kind of stuff is non-binary so you can say that like it is the product of a non-binary person therefore it's not transphobic because they're trans you know or they can identify as trans and i think most importantly it's opened a lot of people's eyes to being lgbt being trans being queer being whatever you are and um being positive about sex and your identity and i think those are important things that it's really important in the history of lgbt people that rocky horror exists because of that that it makes people feel more sexually open it does give you a degree of it has inspired a degree of liberation personally in people and i think that's important so overall i feel like rocky horror isn't transphobic it's a bit sketchy like they do say transvestite and they do say transsexual but at the time those were totally normal words so i don't think that it's fair to fault something on using the language that was available to them it's like it, it's fair to be uncomfortable with it it's fair to not want to go see it to not want to watch something that uses that language but i don't think it's fair to call it transphobic when it is of its time however i do think that richard o'brien the person is transphobic because um they commented uh i'll link down the description below there's an interview with pink news whereby uh, they say that they believe that trans women cannot be women and that by default binary trans people as in trans men slash trans women aren't men or women they're always going to be 
in between, as he puts it. And I think that that's a misguided thing to say. I think that's transphobic to say. I don't think it's right to say that when you have such a large audience because of how famous you are because of Rocky Horror. For once, a video that I intended to be short was actually short. I am so proud of myself. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Uh, if you have an opinion that you want to share with me about whether or not you think Rocky Horror is transphobic, whether or not you think Richard O'Brien is transphobic, whatever you want to say, um, how you feel about the words transvestite, transsexual, please hit the comments down below. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do have quite a few videos about, like, is this thing transphobic and what I think and what I feel like the arguments presented are. Um, there is one week left in the Binder giveaway. Next, not tomorrow, Monday. Next Monday, the 17th of October, is the end of the Binder giveaway. And y'all have my one year on T video next Sunday to look forward to. So thank you for watching. Binder giveaway will be linked in the description. The link about Richard O'Brien saying transphobic things is going to be in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.